Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. Known for their versatility and agility, amphibious assault ships are specifically designed for launching and supporting ground forces, including deploying troops and equipment. It is rare for the public to witness their might. But one unique event providing the community with a captivating spectacle of their capabilities is the San Francisco Fleet Week. Everybody, uh, to the this annual celebration takes place every October and features an air show, parades of ships, and ship tours. San Francisco Fleet Week is a golden opportunity for the American people to experience America's sea fleet. The U.S. Navy, Marine Corps, and Coast Guard hold a series of shows, drawing thousands of spectators to the iconic San Francisco Bay Area. Amphibious assault ships take center stage in this show. The buzz aboard these billion-dollar behemoths is palpable as they prepare for intense missions. Crews comprising sailors and Marines gear up for duty, their commitment unwavering. This time, the crew will not be alone. Civilians will be there too. The public has the opportunity to experience life on board these impressive ships. These guided excursions allow visitors to step aboard and explore the complexity of these vessels. From the engine room and command center, to advanced communication systems and weaponry. Civilians gain a better understanding of how military personnel live, fostering a strong bond between the armed forces and the community they protect. As the San Francisco Fleet Week approaches, the crew of this amphibious assault ship gets prepared. The vessel must be top-notch to welcome visitors. The crew is on a rendezvous to showcase the capabilities and various equipment of their vessel to the world. Precision and coordination become paramount as they embark on their voyage, leaving the safety of the base behind. As the ship ventured toward San Francisco Bay, two missions claimed, celebrating the maritime heritage of the United States and honoring the men and women serving on board for their hard work and dedication to protect the shores. Crowds gathered along the docks, waving American flags and cheering. The amphibious assault ship slowly crosses the Golden Gate Bridge. Along with other naval and Coast Guard vessels, destroyers, cutters, and cruisers, the ship is giant. Its imposing presence coupled with the bridge's majestic elegance, draws an iconic masterpiece for the public. They couldn't help but take their cameras and capture this emblematic scene, symbolizing the blend of military prowess and civic admiration. This moment marks the beginning of intense missions where life inside these billion-dollar amphibious ships holds many challenges. Daily operations are exhausting. A crew of over 1,200 Marines operate the vessel. making it a bustling hive of activity. Flight deck operations are critical.
New classes of amphibious assault ships, such as the WASP class, are designed with increased space for flight deck operations. The large platform is designed to provide a dynamic hub for aerial forces. It's where fixed-wing aircraft like F-35Bs, Harriers, and MV-22 Ospreys take off without using catapults and land without using arresting cables. Helicopters such as the CH-53E Super Stallion and AH-1Z Viper also utilize the deck for takeoffs and landings. It is a high-stress environment. The thrust generated by aircraft taking off and landing causes tremendous force, which can fly away the crew if they don't follow the predefined instructions. Noise and weather conditions add to the complexity of the task. They could not communicate in the usual way. Thus, air traffic controllers and handlers use hand signals and radios for coordination. Everyone on the flight deck knows what to do for safe and efficient operations. Their duties are identified by their uniform color. During their inactive time, helicopters and fixed-wing aircraft alike find refuge within the hangar bay, two decks below the flight deck. There are four aircraft elevators, capable of moving two 74,000-pound fighter jets between the flight deck and the hangar. In contrast to the dynamic flight deck operations, the hangar bay represents a hub of maintenance, repair, and preparation. This enclosed area is where aircraft are stored, maintained, and readied for flight, along with troop transports, spare jet engines, and other heavy equipment. Skilled aviation maintenance crews work tirelessly to inspect, service and repair aircraft, ensuring they remain in peak condition for mission deployment. Machining works go beyond aviation maintenance crews to ensure the reliability of essential ship components. Self-sufficiency is paramount on the open sea making the role of machinery repairman indispensable. Using lathes, mills, drill presses, and precision tools, these technicians create components vital to the ship's functioning. For instance, this machinery repairman on USS America LHA-6 thoroughly designs tamper seals for the ship's main reduction gear, a vital component that keeps the ship's propulsion system operating efficiently. On the other hand, electricians like aviation electrician technicians maintain the vessel's electrical systems. Operating within the ship's intricate web of wiring, they ensure the reliability and functionality of electric systems, from advanced avionics to power distribution networks. In dedicated spaces like the ship's calibration lab, these professionals meticulously calibrate complex electrical systems, such as decade resistors to exacting standards. Continuous repair and maintenance guarantee the USS America is always mission ready and capable of navigating the world's waterways with reliability and performance.
Among the various functions, some might seem simple. However, every person on board is essential. Teamwork is what makes these amphibious assault ships successful. While engineers and technicians are busy operating all the machinery and systems, some officers find their satisfaction in cooking for their colleagues. Feeding these hangry mariners and sailors is difficult. Food specialists must cater to the various taste preferences of over 1,200 people. The satisfaction of their labor lies in the hearty smiles of sailors as they savor a hot meal after arduous duty. The chefs take pride in their role. And why not? It's what keeps the crew morale and physique ready for action. Yet the kitchen's battles don't end with the cooking. Cleaning is another relentless task. Scrubbing, sanitizing, and restoring order in the galley, ensuring it's ready for the next meal. It's a relentless cycle, but the satisfaction of serving those who serve their nation keeps the galley fires burning. The food management system is another factor that sustains the ship's operations. This system considers dietary restrictions, meal planning, and nutrition needs. Inventory specialists meticulously catalog each item. Tracking quantities and monitoring expiration dates to maintain optimal sustenance levels throughout deployments. The morale and hygiene of the crew rely also on the way they look. Fortunately, almost all naval ships have a barber shop, offering a place for sailors and mariners to get haircuts and maintain their grooming standards at sea. The barber shop features at least one chair, and a crewman serves as the barber, often holding the retail services specialist rate. Strict adherence to sanitation procedures and providing Navy regulation haircuts are paramount in these floating barber shops. Barbers are assigned three to six months in rotations, allowing them to gain experience in other roles. This practice also ensures a pool of qualified barbers ready to step in when needed. While some have formal Navy barber training, many learn on the job under the watchful eye of their experienced counterparts. Additionally, the U.S. Navy promotes leisure activities to boost morale and foster camaraderie among the crew. On the amphibious transport dock USS Green Bay, Marines and sailors embarked on a memorable steel beach picnic in the vast expanse of the Philippine Sea. During the picnic, sailors indulged in their favorite activities, creating a sense of home away from home. Some reveled in the joy of grilling barbecue, while others engaged in basketball, and even tried their luck with fishing. The air is filled with laughter and joy. reminding the crew of the importance of work-life balance regardless of their demanding job. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.